Hey guys, welcome back to Motorite Food and Travel. Hope you are doing good, staying safe and healthy and wishing you all a very happy weekend. Today's vlog is all about uh, Bubo's coolant change. Um, it's been quite a while that I haven't changed or uh, replaced the coolant. Uh, when I was doing that, uh, you know, anti-vibration kit uh, um, uh, DIY, that's where I understood the coolant was less. And when I topped it up with this brand let me show you all right so that is not a castrol coolant it is a castro i don't know locally made coolant but then uh, i thought like you know let's let's uh, give it a change now all i have here is a new coolant let me unbox this okay there you go so i got this from amazon i did so it had a very good uh, review so let me just Okay, there you go. I think many of you would be more familiar with this brand. That's the Engine Ice High Performance Coolant. Um, it's very. I, I had a very good uh, review. Oh, is it? No, it's, it's all good. So it has a very good um, review. So I thought, like, let's give it a try. This costed me around a thousand hundred or something. Yeah, the price here, no, I think, yeah, it was actually yeah, 1700 with 1.89 liters. So, let's give it a try. Uh, the first time I am seeing that coolant is in blue color rather than the green ones. Okay, so first uh, coolant tank is here. So, I have to really get this piece open and then drain the coolant from the other side. So first thing, um, let me drain the coolant and then probably go with uh, removing the side panel for refilling. I haven't started my bike since last night so I'm all good with removing the radiator cap. All I have to do is press it and open the radiator cap first. Alright, I pressed it and I opened it. Yep, there you go okay oh that's bad i think i should have first uh, drained it and then i could have opened the radiator cap let's that's okay oh, oh, oh my goodness so let's quickly drain the coolant That's, that's something similar to a predator's blood. <laughs> Never knew they would have used the same. All good. Ooh, oops. <laughs> Need to be very careful with this. There you go. So that's the coolant uh, drain um, screw and uh, washer. That's good. Alright, so radiator is all uh, drained off, so I was just planning to remove this as well, the reservoir. Alright, so... We just have this cap and those two bolts. This comes out and uh, all I have to do is just clean this up. So I have just uh, cleaned the reservoir here and now I'm gonna use or uh, flush the radiator with a distilled water. 
um, so that you know whatever the coolant old coolant that I have it it would be automatically flushed here so let's do it right away and um, I have this funnel fitted with a water hose uh, so that it becomes real easy for us to just uh, you know add the uh, what distilled water or coolant now I just need to see whether the uh, distilled water is draining the area it started draining here now I can just really uh, close the drain plug hand hand tight is pretty enough we don't need to really just tight it all together fill up the radiator with distilled water all right all right all right that's it now gravity can do its job uh, to just drain the distilled water down there or flush it but uh, it's really important that we turn on the engine and idle it for a couple of minutes so that you know it actually goes through all the uh, what do you say panels and really flush out the old ones so give it a start and uh, the engine has to be really idle for till we get the fan turns on I think it took me almost 10 minutes to turn on the fan and uh, uh, you really didn't want to open this now we have to really wait for at least half an hour or more than that because the distilled water which I just poured in will be hot as hell and if we open this up that would be a messy thing and I really don't want to get myself admitted in hospital so till that time you can Check out my YouTube channel Motorite Food and Travel and check all the DIYs which I do it for my TRK and my Royal Enfield Standard 350. Please do not forget to subscribe and share this video as well. Alright, it's more than an hour now so let's quickly drain our distilled water. better not to open the radiator cap or else it will just last it but the flow will be too high so let it settle down for a while and then you can actually open the radiator cap so though I have drained it you can see the color of the coolant is still green distilled water back there actually did his job now I can just wait for maybe five more minutes to let all the distilled water drain out and close the drain plug and uh, fill it with a new one I'll fill up the uh, radiator with the new coolant Okay, uh, it's all full now. I'll just turn on the engine so that the air bubbles. Now you can see the air would really come out, and if needed, I have to still top it up. There 
you go it's all gone so I just need to top it up a little bit it's kind of already full I guess yeah maybe I'll just quickly turn the engine on let's see if it goes in that's pretty much it for the radiator and uh, let me close the cap all right that's it now all i have to do is just fill this uh, this was kind of temporarily fixed it here uh, the what do you say reservoir not on the higher side and not also on the lower side fix this up and probably uh, you know have the bike idle for at least uh, maybe two or three minutes all right guys that's it for today uh, coolant change is all done um, i hope you like the video and you, you might have got some information on how to change the coolant well stay tuned for motor ride food and travel till then be safe and be healthy and please do subscribe and share this video